All right, so we're gonna do next is lashes, the most fun part yeah. of the whole deal. So for Ellie, what I'm gonna do is cut the lash probably in about half or three quarters, just cause her eye's a little bit smaller. If you have a really big eye, then don't hesitate to use a full lash. But I like to cut the end and then kind of put the end on top of the, uh, the outer corner of the lash to kind of add even a little bit more volume. So when you take your lash off, don't um, tear the strip like this, because um, that'll kind of, um, the lash is, is gonna be kind of malformed. So what I do is just kind of take it off like this. You know how I take them off? How? The, the way that the I way said. The way that you just said. Terrible. Then I'll do it. <laughs> so what I usually do is just put a really thin strip of glue on the, uh, the band of the lash instead of putting a lot and I wait about 15-20 seconds until the glue is tacky. So um, tacky like this broad. Nah. Um, oh. So the glue is tacky so it doesn't slide around on the eye. Okay, yeah, so you want to get it as close to the lash line as possible without leaving like a gap. We are lining the eyes now with some eyeliner. What kind do you use? So the eyeliner that I've been using um, is called Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This stuff is magic. This stuff is like Ooh. hangover proof. Cry everything proof. cry yeah. proof when you're crying Water in the proof. bathroom after the boy doesn't lo look at you at the bar. Yeah. This stuff will still make you cute. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I love this stuff. Stays with you. this and just do instead of just one fluid line I start with a really thin one because it's a lot easier to add than take away so I just start with a really thin line and just kind of do really light strokes and a lot of people have uh, wrinkles on their lids so it kind of makes it um, look a little funny so if you do really light strokes then it's kind of uh, you kind of can't mess up And I like to do kind of a, a more dramatic wing. Um, and her eyes can handle it. Can you handle it? Um, I, I think, think you I can, can handle it. I can handle it. it. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Give it to me. So I like to do kind of a, okay, a, to be a bit of an angle towards the, uh, the, the tail of her brow. That's just kind of what I'm gonna And um, practice makes perfect with this. The first time I did liquid liner, I ended it ended in tears, yeah, frustration, bad. a little bit of me ripping my hair it's out. It's really hard at first. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely definitely um, a learning process to doing the the, the wing of liner. Please keep your eyes closed while you're doing um, your eyeliner. Otherwise, we'll get end up with a really nice line up here, a little little bit of a a butterfly liner. Do I have one? No, no. you don't have one. Okay. So now I'm actually just going to curl my own lashes. It's kind of weird for other people to do it, so usually yeah. makeup artists ask you to do it for yourself. Yeah, I can curl her lashes, but um, mm -mm. this is kind of, I'm trying to get it more of like a do-it-yourself sort of deal instead of like watch a makeup artist do it on somebody. A trained makeup artist, yeah. you know? So yeah, you want to get to as close to the lash line as possible and then just give it a nice sort of a gentle squeeze without ripping your eyelid off. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. nice. I like having eyelids. Um, it's good. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's important sometimes, I think. This is a very freaky machine, too. Yeah, but don't be scared. Just, you know, baby okay, steps. Yeah, I won't bite. Yeah. And now your lashes are nice and yeah. curled. Cool. And ready for mascara. So this is a really awesome mascara. It's called a Dior Show Iconic by Christian Dior. I really love their makeup. Um, this one's waterproof, so awesome. Also for weddings, crying, boy at the bar won't look at you. It does have a really awesome wand, but I'm not gonna use that on her because we're gonna be sanitary. That's always important. Yeah. yeah, that's weird. If a makeup artist uses um, the wand, the wand, be run, worried. Run away. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of your makeup chair and run. 
And just in case anybody makes any comments, I did use this one on her straight from um, the, uh, the little applicator, I guess. Normally I would use a brush, but I really, really love the felt tip, so I just sanitized it with um, 90, yeah. 90, uh, yeah. 99. Yeah, 99. We bought 97. Alcohol. You went super cheap. 97. Went 97. <laughs> I don't even so think she's gonna exists. be three percent infected. Basically, that's okay. I can deal happen. with that. I can deal with that. Yeah, yeah. All right. but it's just because I really, really love this one. And again, I said like I wanted it to be kind of and more we're DIY. Friends. And we're friends. It's all good. Plus, this is brand know. new. So you can get it from any, You can get like an eye infection from anyone, really. I yeah. should have said that maybe. Really. All right. So what we want to do is just start at the base and just wiggle your way to the top. So we're going to do a little bit of concealer just um, for the under eye area because most people have a, this is the thinnest skin on your eye. Um, I'm using Estee Lauder's um, Double Wear in light. So look up, hun. So next up we're going to do blush, which is a very, very important part of the pinup look. So the one I'm using for Ellie today is called Fleur Power. It's from MAC. It's kind of like a corally pink color. It's really, really pretty. Get my brush in there, and then, as always, tap it off. Tap off any excess. Tap off, yes, tap all off. the. Um, like this time, we'll just do a little bit of dotting on the apples of the cheek, and don't bring it up too close to here. So you just kind of want it. You don't want to go past the nostrils. And yeah, just a very, very light touch. It's always easier to to add than to take away. So just put a little bit, and then if you want to do a little bit more you can. Less Especially if you're having photos done. If you're having photos done, you can go a little bit stronger because mm -hmm. the lights are so bright. So you definitely want it to pick up. Look at that. Now we're going to do lips. Um, I'm going to do a, f a quick lip line first. I'm using Jungle Red by NARS, which I really like. This is a really nice color, as you can see. I don't have a lot of it left because I use it like crazy. So what I do is just, again, light feather strokes. Keep the mouth slightly open. Some girls like to fill in the whole lip with lip liner, um, which helps it stay in a lot longer, but I've got a product that's gonna help with that um, regardless. That's what we're gonna put on after, that we've all just kind of fallen in love with. It's pretty awesome. For lip color, normally I like to use MAC or NARS or Guerlain, but I've kind of fallen in love, as a lot of my friends have, with Lime Crime's um, Velveteen's Red Velvet. It's kind of a, it's like a lip stain, but it's a lipstick, and it goes on, it's like a really nice kind of rich red velvet matte. It's absolutely beautiful, and it stays forever. Kiss proof, food proof, drink proof. So yeah, this stuff is awesome. You can get it from Lime Crime's website. Um, open slightly a little bit more. Yeah, you can get it from their website. Um, it's pretty sort of standard price. There's about $17 plus shipping, so it's kind of like the same price as a standard MAC lipstick. And this stuff is just awesome. It dries to really beautiful red matte, and um, it just looks gorgeous on. It's definitely perfect for um, for pinup lips. Gorgeous. You're so intense, Bella. I know. When you do your art, you I know. I like to be intense. Like you are. Um, all right, so we're gonna start to take out um, Ellie's curls. I like to start at the bottom because it's way easier instead of starting at the top and then kind of getting all tangled. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just gonna start at the bottom and work our way up. And just kind of let them fall. And yeah, and then just kind of comb it through with your fingers if you want the curl to kind of stay. And then, I mean, you can kind of leave it, or if you want a little bit more of a polished look, I like to brush it out a little bit more and shape it.